Hello guys, today I'll be teaching you all how to change and wait no, not change. Remove and install a tire and a tube. Yeah, let's head on to that. Okay, I moved from the workshop to my study table. Uh so to start off with, let's talk about the tools we need to change our tire. Firstly will be our tire lever to pry open the not really pry open but to remove the wheel from the rim or the tire from the rim to access our tube so you probably need about two i guess three is a bit overkill but yeah minimum two maximum three don't try one but you can always try next up next up you'll have the multi-tool which is currently wrapped in inner tube for protection purposes um, the multi-tool will be great for like bikes with axles without a quick re quick release lever which I will show later because my bike is doesn't have a quick release lever so it will be great if I'm stuck outside and I need to take out remove the rim or the wheel from the fork or the bike to take to change the tube inside and then last but not least we'll need a hand pump because after doing all that and you don't have a pump it, is, it basically defeats the purpose because you need air in your tires to work you know so yeah these are the three uh, must have to change a tire from a rim or something like that or to change a tube or whatever oh and uh, some extras would be if you're in a workshop let's say uh, workshop gloves uh, they work they give you more grip and protection these are some third-party shit I got offline and also if you're wearing white I don't know why you want to wear white a uh, workshop apron would be great I guess and if you want to get those apron get those with a pocket in the middle I can't access the pocket but you don't know what the apron looks like the pocket will be there if you want to put in your uh, allen keys whatsoever it's a great way to get them out quickly it quick grab stuff so let's move on to the workshop and I'll show y'all how to change a tire okay like I said just now my uh, axle doesn't have a quick release lever on either side as you can see so this is where the multi tool would come in handy uh, so I need a 6 mil for this thing so firstly you take the multi tool you insert it in, then you twist it to unloosen it. Or to loosen it. There's no there's no what is unloosen. Never mind. So Oh yes, and this is where the workshop gloves come in handy because it doesn't hurt as much as using your bare hands. So once you get the axle out, or you loosen the axle, just keep spinning. Just pull it out and the wheel should drop. Yeah, I never thought of that. Just give me a moment. Okay, nothing really happened here. Uh, so once you took out the axle, you want to put it somewhere safe or like put it down there. Or maybe you can reinsert it back so you don't lose it because this is the last thing you want to lose. And yeah, let's head on to the tire. So this application will be great if you're trying to, let's say if you burst a tire or you burst a tube out in the trails. So first, you're gonna take out the valve, spin whichever way it turns out. Once you get the valve, you can just yeet it aside because who needs a valve anyways? And now we unscrew. This is a Presto valve, by the way. I think you guys can see it's a Presto valve. Then you unscrew the top. And you just let air out. Just let all, all you just want, all you want to do is just let the air out all the way until it's flat. I mean, I've pumped it up to 50 psi, which is my biggest regret. All right, once you let all the air out, right, you should be able to pinch the tire. So what you want to do now is pinch the tire into the center of the rim, or like try to push it into the center of the rim. And before all that, make sure you 
also unscrew this cap here. If not, you won't be able to take out the tube from the rim. Just spin as fast as you can. Ooh, it's big on this thing. So, what you want to do is just press the tire into the center of the rim. This will make it easier to take out the tire itself. So just pinch the rim all the way and once you see it getting loose, that's a good sign itself. So you want to push this valve into the rim and come closer and see the rim. So just push it in until you don't see any more on the top. Then next thing you want to use is uh, your tie levers. You just need two. So you want to Go to the other side, like 180 degrees away from the valve and then open the tire and put the tire lever inside there and then push it up. Try not to hit the rim tape or damage the tire while doing this process. And then once it's done, once the tire lever is inside, just push your way out and the tire should come out itself easily like that. Just with a hand and pull out the tire from the rim and voila, there you go. Okay, now that you've done the other steps, the first few steps, and you have taken the tire off the rim and the tube also, the tube's inside here. Now it's time to do the tedious process, which a lot of people skip, which is checking the tire itself. This is when you puncture a tire or the puncture a tube. It's highly recommended you check the inside of the tire or check where the puncture is by pumping up the tube, seeing where the air comes out from, whatsoever. So a quick check is just to check the inside of the tire, use your hand to feel the inside. And also, pro tip, check the rim also because sometimes the shit might be on your rim, not your tire. What the hell. So just check the rim, make sure there's nothing inside, you see all this weird stuff? Just use your fingers and push them out. It's all sealant that I use. Ah, tubers suck. Okay, just check the rim. Once that's all done, once that all done, just reinstall the tube, which I'm going to show you now. Okay, now we're going to be installing the tire again. So, style points to if you can find the valve and finding the brand of the tire and making sure that they line up properly. It's for style points only. So, come closer and see the. So, look down, look down. So, once you want to put the one side of the rim onto one side of the tire, and then just, just push in the rim on the tire. And then, once you get it, just put it all in. This Yeah. Just push one side of the rim into the tire. Please do not put the rim inside the tire. Make sure you put the rim on the tire, like the bead of the tire, which is this. Alright, this is the bead of the tire. And then now find the valve. The valve hole is here, and you want to line the logo up so it looks neat with the valve later on okay so it's time to reinstall a tube or the new tube that you have if you puncture a tire so this is the valve uh, you want to find the valve hole come closer and see here's the valve hole you want to install the valve into the hole and then you just want to insert the tube into the tire you can do it any way you like so long the tube goes in the tire Make sure there's no, make sure there's like no kink or like folds like this. Make sure that the rim is, I mean the tube is equally spread it out so that you won't cause a puncture later on. And once you're done, just push it in. If your tie's a bit loose, it's alright. But trust me, it'll go inside if you bought the right size. So just push it in. Right, 
bond finish after you finish installing the tube there'll be this one part which is the hardest part where it's like very hard to push the thing inside your fingers here's where you need your lever for you take it use this side of the lever put it into the tire and then just try to push it back in by doing what I am doing yeah I'm just weak and on that all right once that's done just make sure that none of the tires the bead of the tire is not biting the tube make sure the tire is checked well good well good and yeah okay once you are done reinstalling the tire and the tube now you hectically find the nut the valve nut or screw, whatever you call this, which you accidentally threw away just now, and then you just re put it in. Just re put it in, yeah. Not reinstall, re put it in. Just re screw it in. Then here is where you get the pump. But since I'm home, in my workshop, I am going to use a floor pump instead, which is easier and faster. So this is a floor pump and depending on how old or new your floor pump is some floor pumps have integrated um, Presta pumps but mine doesn't so it comes with a converter instead this is a valve converter from sh shredder to Presta or from Presta to shredder because this pump only accepts shredder valves so yeah so to install the converter, just put it over your valve, but make sure that this thing is all the way unscrewed, like you see here. Come on, focus, focus. So yeah, make sure it's unscrewed, and you just install it right over. God, I'm bad at this. Okay, once you get it in, just re-screw it. Okay, it's tight now. Then you want to take your uh, your pump head, I guess, put it onto the converter, and then you lock it in place. This is the lock position, this is the unlock position, but we need to lock it now to pump the tire. I'm going to assume that everyone knows how to pump a uh, floor pump, so, but if you do not know, here's the handle, and there are foot pegs down there, which way your foot would go on to stabilize the pump. So now you want to take both your hands and then just go up and down, up and down until you get to the pressure you want. Okay, once you pump the tire, pressure, the tire to a certain pressure, if you hear it pop, that's alright. It's just signifying that the beat of the tire has seated on the rim itself so don't worry so much if your tire pops makes a pop song but if it blows up yeah that's a whole different story that's not good okay now that you're done with pumping the tire you want to unlock your pump and let it go just heat it somewhere and now you take out your converter be careful on this part because you don't want to bend your this part of the thing the valve core because it's very easily damaged. It's a very fragile part of the bike. So make sure this screw here is screwed properly as when it pumps up, it just goes up. And then frantically find your valve cap, which you still need it. And just cap your tire, I mean your valve, sorry. And done. You have just reinstalled the whole tire. Oh my god, the pumping hearts are hard. Alright, time to reinstall the tire onto the bike itself. Okay, now you want to reinstall the tire into, I mean the wheel into the back of the bike. So remove your axle and safely store it over here. It was safely stored. Then now you want to put back the tire into the rim. So you want to make sure that your. Okay, I'm some kind of idiot that this is done then. Hold up. 
I got it again. Uh, I'm gonna put the tie into the ring now. I need to make sure that this disc here doesn't accidentally hit the brake or spoil it. And now it's the hard part because it's on the stand. And now that the bike's in, now the wheels, the rim or the hub is now seated into the thingy now. Oh, must be my axle. I'm gonna reinstall your axle into the wheel, into the hub itself and the rim, or whatever you call it. And then just tread it in. And then come closer. Take your 6mm Allen key and just screw it in. And make sure when you screw it in, make sure it's in a good torque so it doesn't fall off or you so the wheel won't fall off when you're cycling, which is a very bad thing. And now that it's stable, make sure it doesn't go off. Make sure when you slap it down, it don't come out. And ensure that when you install this thing, make sure the brake dinghy isn't like affected whatsoever and now that you have done all that you have successfully changed your tire and tube i hope that's a very i won't say it's a very helpful thing but eh, it's done i hope you guys get the rough idea of what it is i'm brand new to this so yeah anyways anyways thanks for watching Hope you guys learned something. There will be more videos of me fixing bugs, I guess. Hopefully better. I just don't have much people to be with today. So yeah. Um, other than that, I'll be posting every Wednesday if the time allows it. And yeah, leave a like if it helps you. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you all in the next video then. I need to go clean up some mess. Goodbye guys.